welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. The Heckscher Museum of Art celebrated its 95th anniversary with a weekend of free events for the entire family. The museum was founded by um, a gentleman named August Heckscher, a philanthropist, in 1920, and he dedicated the museum and the park to the uh, town of Huntington, especially the children. So really our mission is to bring families and children into the museum through organizing lots of activities for the community throughout the year. Today's activity is designed to show kids that even children's toys can be in a museum or even be the museum. Last year, uh, David Holisky came to the museum and did a Lego building workshop during a sculpture exhibition that we had. And he built along with the children um, who assisted him to build the small model of the Heckscher, Lego Heckscher Museum. And so now we invited him back because he's completed the Lego Heckscher Museum and we wanted to have it on view in celebration of our anniversary. And his workshops are really just so um, family friendly, Legos are, um, a great way to bring new audiences into the museum. While Lego building, kids also got a fun history lesson. What we're going to be building today is, everyone knows about your iPhones and your smartphones, right? This is what they used to use back 95 years ago to communicate. So for today's workshop, I designed a custom 1920s candlestick telephone. Uh, designed in Lego, which we'll be building in a number of small groups today. I've also built a 1920s brownie camera, which is very iconic from the time frame. And again, these are items that existed 95 years ago when the museum opened, so kids can kind of get the feel of what existed back then as opposed to their iPhones and other smartphones of today. Aside from hosting the Lego workshop, David also has some artwork on view. I'm a digital designer, so I work with pixels on a daily basis in my profession. And I wanted to take those pixels and basically work them in with Lego. So as you can see in my sculpture, my mosaics, uh, it's basically pixels come to life. The lesson that David wants to pass on to kids is that when you're being creative, anything can be your medium and anything can be your canvas. I think it's the matter of that anything is possible. I mean, the bricks are just a medium like paint or clay and the, the world is really wide open with what you can create. Whatever your passion in is life, you can do that in Lego. Uh, my son loves Legos and my daughter loves art. So this was a perfect opportunity for us to get the kids outside and, and to give them an opportunity to, to see artwork. Grandpa and I loved this, this piece of camera. I'm not sure how they created it, but it's, it's gorgeous. To encourage kids and adults to look around, the museum created a special game. Part of these pictures are somewhere in some of these, these artworks. So if we go around, we might be able to find uh, the picture that has this. Those that took on the challenge found sculptures, paintings by the old masters, painting by modern masters, and some found out that seeing is not necessarily believing. At first I didn't notice the Mona Lisa's inside of it until I got really up close. To me it symbolizes like two forms of beauty that were both from a different time era. So fusing them together is just another creative way of showing how like beauty of the past and a little like more current how they come together. This 95th year celebration went so well that the museum is already looking forward to the next major milestone. So we're very excited for the year 2020, which in five years, of course, we'll be here. And um, that will be our 100th anniversary of the museum. And we envision um, even a larger celebration than this year. So we're excited about that as well. 